What's up guys, Newbie here bringing you another GamePro video. If you don't know what GamePro is all about, take a look at some of my other videos. But today I'm bringing you a brand new program using the GamePro Automatic Breeding in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Just like my previous program in X and Y, this has the ability to automatically breed for shinies and check for male or female. But I've also introduced a brand new feature, the ability to check for perfect IVs. Here's how it works. Alright, so here we are at the daycare centre at the Battle Resort. And I'm just going to double click on the monitor here on uh, this application. Okay. And I'll just resize that quickly. So hopefully you can see it's come up here saying, do you want to check IVs? Now I'm trying to get a 6 IV Charizard to be a mixed attacker. So yes, we do want to check IVs. And do you want to keep males? Yes. Now set minimum IVs for males to keep. Now I just said we want to try and get 6 IVs. So we're going to put 6 for that. And then do you want to keep females? Yes. Now the females are a bit more rare. Um, 1 and 8 I think they are. So set minimum IVs for females. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put that as 5. Um, so anything with 5 or more perfect IVs for the females that we'll keep just because they can be quite good for trading. So I'll hit enter. And off it goes. So it's just going to go left and right here. And then I've got it set at the moment, so um, once every three times there and back, it will stop and check um, with that boy. There we go, it's going to talk to him and see if he has an egg, which at the moment he doesn't. So it's going to go back and do another three times and then stop and check. Um, on my previous program, I'd set it up so it actually uses the camera to um, check whether or not he's turned around, but it can be quite hard to detect. So I've just done this at the moment on a cycle basis, and here we go, he's going to collect an egg. So he's just going to carry on doing that until he's collected five eggs, and then he's just going to go left and right until uh, all the eggs have been hatched. So I'll just speed this next little bit up. Alright, we've hatched four eggs now, just waiting for the fifth one to hatch. And um, then what's going to happen, so if, if I had said right back at the start that I didn't want to check IVs, it would go into the daycare house um, to deposit the Pokemon, but because, oh here we go, it's just hatching the last egg. Because I want to check IVs, um, what it's going to do is it's going to go all the way to the Pokemon Center where the IV judges. So we'll just let it finish this. Alright. Now it's actually set up to hop off the bike and count out the steps. I could do it so that it uses the camera to detect when it's in front of the door at the Pokemon Center, but it's a little bit more work um, and a little bit less reliable, so I just decided to set it up like this. So we should go over and talk to the IV judge now. Yep, there we go. And it's just going to check the first Charmander, which has got hit points, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. So that's got five. And you should see here comes up number of perfect IVs, 5. So now it's going to check the second one. Which has got defense, special attack, and speed. So only 3 for that one. Which again it should show over here on the screen. 3.
in the third one, hit points, defense, special attack, and speed. So that one's got four. And this one's got hit points, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. And the last one, hit points, defense, special attack, and speed. So only for that one. Right, so now he's going to walk over to the, the PC. And it's just going to look through each of the Charmanders, um, checking the gender and also checking if they're shinies. So that first one is a male, not shiny, and five IVs, so it's going to release that. And then this one, also male, only had three perfect IVs, so it'll release that one. And this one, male again, and four IVs, so it'll release that. Again, male, five perfect IVs, so that'll be released because we wanted six. And the last one is a female, but only had four perfect IVs, and we see it's the one at five, so it's going to release that as well. And here we go, it's come up with a whole bunch of um, information that's spit out here. So total eggs hatched five, females hatched one, males hatched four. Well, it says males or genderless because um, things like magnemites, it just treats them like males. Um, female Pokemon with at least five perfect IVs, there were none. Male Pokemon with at least six perfect IVs, there were none. Shinies, none hatched. Pokemon deposited, well, because we haven't found anything we wanted yet, it's just released them all, so none have been deposited. And then it goes back to repeating the cycle, so you can see it's already collected one egg. So it's just going to carry on doing that. And we'll just leave it to it and come back and see it a little bit later. Okay, so it's just hatched its hundredth egg and it's just off to the Pokemon Center to check the IVs with the IV judge. So we just quickly want to look at this screen over here. So we see total hatched 95, so it's just doing the last five to get to 100 now. Females hatched 13 and males hatched 82. Uh, now, female Pokemon with at least five perfect IVs, so it's deposited five of them. And male Pokemon with at least six perfect IVs, it has found two of them. And also, if we have a look at this, Shiny's hatched, uh, shiny's hatched one, so uh, it has actually found a Shiny as well. So overall, total Pokemon deposited um, eight. Alright, just sped that last bit up. It, um, it hasn't deposited anything new. We see there, total eggs hatched 100, deposited 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop that now. And I'll try and show you, if we can on here. Alright, so hopefully you can see that. Sorry, this will probably be a bit wobbly. Let me just go and jump onto the PC. So we should have eight Pokemon here, and we do. And look, the first one there is the shiny. We should also have, there should be um, five other females and two males. Yeah, they're all there. So if we go and check the IVs, all the females should have at least uh, five perfect IVs, and the males should have at least six perfect IVs. And of course, there's one shiny. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like rating, and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already for future videos and updates on the Game Pro. Also, one last thing in my last video, I did promise to give away a shiny Groudon to a subscriber, and the RNGs have chosen. Just a Dutchman. So congrats to you. Don't forget to message me with your 
screen code so I can give that to you. And until next time, see ya.